Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 108 with me Craig Barton. Now the topic of the golden ratio is one of those classics in maths. It's your classic kind of go-to rich task, real world maths investigation that tends to come up a lot in Key Stage 3. And I'm in my 11th year of, <laughs> flipping heck, 11th year of teaching now and I reckon golden ratios come up perhaps not every year but, but at least seven or eight times. And I've dabbled in teaching it or, or uh, introducing it to the students in lots of different ways, either using kind of architecture or in this this instance, like, like this resource, I've dabbled in, in relating it to, to beauty. And um, But I'll be entirely honest with you, it, it's never quite hit the mark. It's never quite got the level of either engagement, but combined with mathematical rigor and kind of progress that I, I wanted to get out of it. I've either hooked the kids in, but I'm not sure what they've got out of it or I've tried to get too much maths in and the kids have been bored out of the mind. But fortunately, I think this resource is the best of both worlds. I think it's absolutely wonderful resource and it's been created and kindly uploaded by DCP20. Now, when I show you this, you might not think it's the most revolutionary thing you've ever seen, but it's the structure that really hooks me in. All the resources are there for you. It's been really carefully planned out and it's a wonderful resource. So it's 11 files. The majority of those comprise of photos, which you're seeing kind of flicking across your screen now. Um, but there's crucially, there's a PowerPoint file and a Word file that I'm going to draw your attention to first. So let's have a look at the PowerPoint. Um, Are You Beautiful? Here it is. And it's a lovely lesson. It starts off with um, sequences. Um, can you find the rules and the, the next three terms? Looking at arithmetic sequences, some geometric ones in there, which will link quite nicely to the new spec GCSE and so on. And then we get the old Fibonacci. And then it's linking a bit of history here, uh, who was Fibonacci. And then I've, I've dabbled in this this with the past, in the past, linking Fibonacci and Golden Ratio, uh, Fibonacci in nature, but again, it's not quite, never quite done it for me. Then it's dividing the uh, Fibonacci sequence uh, where the golden ratio pops out. So the students are, have, have spotted the golden ratio there. And then again, this is another area I've gone down in the past um, in, in nature, the golden ratio and so on. Um, and then a nice little some body measurements there. But this is where it really kicks in for me. Whenever I uh, try to link uh, the golden ratio to, to measures of attractiveness and beauty in the past, I've tended to focus on one or two measurements, but this seems to be the key to this. Look how many measurements we've got there. If my maths is right, I reckon that's 12 different measurements for the students to take on each face. Um, and there's really nice clear diagrams here explaining exactly where you need to take each of these measurements. Um, and there's also a nice little Word document there that you can print out for your students. Um, so they, they've got it with them so they know where to take these measurements. And then if I just go back to the PowerPoint, there's a nice little table where they can record not just the measurements, but the ratio of the measurements. So measurement A divided by measurement G and so on. So let's just take a step back here and think of the skills that the students are going to need. Um, they're going to need to be able to measure accurately with rulers, and that's often an overlooked skill, I reckon. Um, I often just assume my kids can do it, but whenever they're faced with it, often in the exam, they, they tend to struggle. So it's a good practice of accurate measurement. Um, good practice of calculation and also good practice of, of rounding and then taking out working out the average. So there we've got our mathematical rigor and so on. Um, what's also nice about this resource um, is how many uh, supporting materials come with it. So if I just come out of here, you'll see um, the photos. So there's good old Barack and there's Emma Watson. Um, the photos are really kind of high quality photos and they're all kind of they're all in the right kind of ratio, if that makes sense. They're all they're all easy to measure. They take up a decent amount of the, the screen. So you can print those out um, whatever size you want, um, and the students are going to be fine to measure them. When I ran this with my year nine class, um, I didn't print out enough for one per person. Instead, I had kind of like a carousel activity going, and I thought it's better to have a bigger, higher quality version um, of each than loads of... Uh, lower quality kind of black and white one so I went to town I did two big copies of each and um, so um, on A4 paper one A4 color of Barack and another A4 color of Barack and I did that for each of the other I think there's nine uh, celebrities there and that tended to be a decent size for my students to be able to measure it so then they measure them and then we can kind of make hypothesis um, hypotheses sorry from there and um, seeing which, which do they tend to the golden ratio and um, is does it correlate with with students perception of attractiveness and so on and a couple of things I'll say just just on this point here and um, the author in their description explains that this was designed for a bright key stage three group um, I reckon this can be used with any group um, I've got a low ability low attaining sorry a year seven group 
Um, but I'm going to try this with them. Sure, I may have to take out some of the measurements and I may have to help them with the calculators and so on. And maybe we'll try not to do it quite as accurate. Maybe I'll be happy with kind of two decimal places or so on. But I'm a firm believer that rich, interesting mathematics should not just be limited to high attaining students. Everybody should be able to access it with something like this. It really does kind of cross boundaries in that sense. And secondly, I really like this. Some of you maybe um, have seen this result and thinking, oh God, this could be a minefield, talking about beauty and attractiveness and what happens if the kids start relating it to their own faces and so on. But I'm a big fan of, of bringing this kind of stuff into mathematics, bringing debate and intrigue and arguments into maths. And as the author points out here, SMSC, uh, can beauty be reduced to a ratio? So let's get the argument going. Let's have maths kind of form a, form a theory, form a hypothesis, and then let's relate it to our own perceptions. And maybe we'll do a little presentation on it or write a paragraph on it, or maybe we'll tell our RE teacher about it, or our history teacher or so on. It's, it's interesting, important mathematics. So as I say, if you are going to tackle this topic, either as a standalone or at the end of a, a chapter on ratio or proportion or use of a calculator or rounding or something like that, I really do think this is a wonderful resource. So hope you found that useful and I shall be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.